Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. I figure it's actually better that I waited till now that I moved to a new place to do this video because obviously my whole setup has changed, my lighting situation has changed, and I think the quality of my videos has just dramatically improved since a month or two ago. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my filming setup how I record my videos, what camera I use, the tripod I use, the lights that I use, all of that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you the room that I'm recording in right now, but I'm going to get into the actual process of how I record my videos. Just for those of you who have been curious and who always ask me these types of questions, and also for those of you who maybe are thinking about starting your own channel and are looking for tips and um, equipment to purchase to make your video. So this is, from where I'm sitting right now, what my setup looks like. So you can see I have two softbox lights. I have my camera on a tripod. It's hooked up to my laptop, which I have on a little fold-up table in front of me. So that's it, just the two lights, camera, tripod, laptop. So when you're standing at the door of my room where I record, this is what it looks like. So I sit obviously in that chair right there. I have this little L-shaped desk here. So when I'm doing like my regular sit down videos, I'll sit here and you'll see this behind me. And then if I'm doing a tutorial, you'll see this behind me because I'll be sitting here at the desk and then I'll put my lights on my camera here in front of me. So everything that I use and that I'm going to be showing you, I will have links to down in the description. So I guess let's just start with the camera I use because obviously that's the most important thing. So the camera that I film all of these videos on currently is the Canon T4i. I just used the lens that came with the camera, so it's nothing fancy, it's very standard. This camera does have a touchscreen viewfinder that does flip out. So that's kind of cool. I can, you know, adjust things just from the viewfinder. This camera does have autofocus. However, I don't ever use that when I'm recording. There's some cameras you might watch where people will be holding up a product and they'll move it closer to the camera and the camera will automatically focus on that thing. This camera will do that if you have the autofocus. <laughs> this camera will do that if you have the autofocus turned on. However, it's constantly moving around and you can hear the lens focusing and it's not like a smooth focus. So I'm not a huge fan of the autofocus on this camera, that's why you never see me use it. I'm not sure if with the newer models they've improved that at all, but with the T4i, just so you know, if you want a camera that does that autofocus thing, this is not going to be it. For you so overall I love this camera the quality of it is amazing I feel like it's really great just for the purpose of making YouTube videos if you're someone like me who is still a bit of an amateur you can obviously adjust the settings and you do have a lot of control but it's not super super technical and advanced so if you do want to just stick to the auto settings and stuff you can do that and that works great too now as for the tripod that my camera's on, it's just a Dynex tripod. I just got it from Best Buy. I just kind of went to the store and got the one that was the most decent size for the cheapest price. This one I believe goes up to 61 or 62 inches, something like that, which is perfect because that's how tall I am. So if I am recording a video where I'm standing up or something like that, it's the perfect height for me. If you are just planning on doing basically what I do on my channel, just tutorials and sit-down videos and stuff like that, you don't really need anything that's super fancy. You don't need to spend a lot of money. Um, if it's just going to be used inside your home, there's no need to get something that's like crazy expensive or fancy. Now as for the little setup I have with my laptop and all that kind of stuff, my camera actually came with all of that stuff. So it came with the little wire I used to connect it to my laptop and it also came with a CD to install on my computer and that's what gives me the program so that I can adjust my camera and see myself on the laptop and all that stuff. I'm assuming that most DSLR cameras do come with software like that nowadays. It's a really, really handy thing to have. Sometimes the camera's just a little bit too far away. Like right now where I'm sitting, I can't reach the lens 
to focus it. So it's kind of a pain to try to focus it and then make sure you're in focus where you're sitting and all that. And then my eyesight isn't the absolute best. So from where I'm sitting, it's a little hard on the tiny viewfinder to be able to tell if I am in focus or not. So it's just awesome to have my computer right here in front of me. Um, I can do all of my adjustments and I can be sure that everything's looking good. Also, I can see exactly how the lighting and the coloring and everything looks. It can be a little bit off on the camera's viewfinder, but whatever you're seeing on the computer is exactly what the footage is going to look like when I'm going to edit it. Now as for my lighting, I actually just got these softbox, softbox, yeah, these softbox lights when I moved to this new place and I love these lights so much. The two of them came together, they came with everything, the stand, the actual um, screen that goes over the lights, the bulbs, everything all came together. Two of them came in a pack and I think altogether it was about $70 which is such a good deal in my opinion. The lighting is perfect, the coloring is perfect, the quality is perfect, it gives me so much light. In this room right now, these two softbox lights are the only lights I have on at all. Um, and it's nighttime outside, so I don't have any natural light or anything. So I know there's a lot of people who make videos that have like the ring lights and stuff that are like 100 plus dollars just for that one light alone. And you don't necessarily need to spend that much money on lighting. So I love this kit a lot. I do typically like to record during the day and I obviously have a window here behind me. I like having some natural light come in behind me because it adds a little backlight and I feel like it just makes my videos look a little bit brighter and lighter. But as you can see, even when it's totally pitch black out, the lighting is still really good. Lighting is so important. Yes, it's important to have a camera that shoots high quality video, but it's equally as important to have good lighting. I look back at some of my videos where I'm using this exact same camera, exact same lens and everything, but the quality just looks so different because my lighting wasn't as good. I was just using natural light and there just wasn't enough of it. Now, if you are just starting out your videos, of course, use natural light if that's what you need to do. I mean, by all means, I'm not saying you have to go out and spend any money on artificial lights if you can sit in front of a nice big window and get some natural light. And if you are going to use any type of artificial lights, you want to make sure that the bulbs you're using are white light. Because if you use something that has a yellow or orangey tinge to it, it's going to make your videos look really orange and yellow. These lights are very, very white, so it just gives a very natural looking appearance and color to the video, if that makes sense. And then lastly, I guess, let me just talk a little bit about my vlogging camera that I've been using since June. This is the Canon G7X. I love this camera. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this too is because I think that if you are looking to make YouTube videos and you haven't purchased a camera yet, then this might be a good option for you. So let me just share a little bit of the pros and cons and compare and contrast this one to the DSLR that I use. So this does have a screen that flips up like this, which is awesome. So when you're recording yourself, you can see yourself. This screen also is a touch screen, so you can touch it and make adjustments. You can also, it has a touch focus, so you can tap wherever on the screen you want to focus. And unlike a lot of other just regular point and shoot cameras like this, you actually can adjust quite a lot of things. But again, it's not anything that's too technical or too advanced or too overwhelming. Um, I mean, really anyone can use this camera. It's very simple to use. And the quality, I think, is just as good as the DSLR. I have actually recorded a few just regular sit down videos with this camera. There definitely is a bit of a difference in the quality and also the sound compared to the DSLR camera, but this is still a really good option. The quality is still absolutely amazing. Another thing I love about this one is that it has Wi-Fi capabilities, so you can take a picture with this and then send it directly to your phone and then post on Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want. So if you've ever noticed that some of my Instagram pictures are really, really high quality, it's because I took it with this camera. But if you are someone 
that wants to be vlogging, you want to have your camera with you to take pictures and things like that, then this might be a little bit better and more cost effective because it's kind of your all-in-one camera. I mean, there's really no reason to have two separate cameras. So I think that that is basically it for this video. I didn't want to get too, too technical with this. I wanted to keep it very user-friendly and just kind of stick to the basics. If you do want to know a little bit more, especially about the camera, like specs wise, then you can go and check out the links and read all that information for yourself. I will put a link down in the description to a video I did several months ago sharing tips on how to start a YouTube channel. So if you are interested in that, you can go check that out. But I did want to just talk a little bit more about like the actual equipment in this one. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with someone else who might also find it helpful. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. 60% of my handbags are all from that website. I am addicted. I love their stuff. If I had a little more money to spend, I would definitely just get something every single month. But um, I did want to show you just like one thing I have. This is the most.